Hey, what's up, guys? This is Big Phil Twenty once again hitting you guys up, and I want to just make another quick, just really, really quick video about John Mayer and the comments that he made um, on Playboy magazine, where he said that his dick was white supremacist. It basically doesn't go near black pussy. He doesn't like black girls, and he needs to start dating separately from his dick. Um, do I think that he's racist because of those comments? No, I don't. No, I don't. Do I think that he just made a dumbass comment? Yes, I do. But here's my thing. My problem with him is not the comment that he made. Because John Mayer is a fucking idiot. Like, he's a douchebag. He tries to be funny, but he just comes off like an asshole. Like, he really does come off like an asshole. Like, I really don't follow him that much. Because once again, to me, he's really cock conceited and arrogant. Like, he's like a white version. Well, no, no, one, no one's as arrogant as Kanye West. I'm sorry, nobody's on that fucking flagpole. Kanye West is on another fucking planet by himself, breathing some other, some different type of oxygen. He's not breathing our, he's not in our atmosphere, he's not breathing our ozone, he is breathing a totally different type of shit. He's on some other shit. But um, John Mayer is cocky in his own right, and I just don't like an artist who feels like he's gracing us with his presence, or he act, or an artist who feels like just just really condescending, like he doesn't have to do this for his fans. Like his fans didn't make him. His his fans are just there. I can't stand artists who act like that. But John Mayer is like that. I just think that his comment that he made was just really dumb. Like, if you say your preference is not black girls, that's fine. But why the fuck do you have to say your dick is white supremacist and compare yourself to David Duke and all that shit? Why would you have to do that? John Mayer, can I, can I get a vow? Why did you have to fucking do that? And I just hate when people make dumbass comments and then they try to recant it. Um, but anyway, that's a whole nother, that's a whole nother situation on itself. Like, I just, that's a whole nother situation on itself about how I feel when people make quotes. Like, if you, if that's really what you said, don't sit here and say another magazine later or I apologize. Don't apologize for that shit. Be mad about it. Say that that's what I said because you know what? Somewhere deep inside of you or for you to be able to say that you really meant what you said. So don't even try to be like that. But my thing is this. This is the question I want to leave you guys with. There are a lot of people out there who, especially black people, who say they will never date outside their race. They will never date white people. They'll never date Asian. They'll never date Hispanic. They'll, um, they'll never date... Um, you know, Indian people, um, and, and to me, isn't that kind of being racist in your own accord? Like, just because John Mayer said it, that doesn't make you different than him. Like, just because he's a white guy that says he doesn't like dating black girls, if you're a black girl or a black guy who says that y'all don't like dating white people, you're just being like him. Like, I'm, I'm not saying that, Big Zoe is not saying that you guys have to date outside your race. Like, if you have a preference, that's fine. What I'm saying is, yeah, be like, yeah, I prefer to have some chocolate, but I'm open to having vanilla. I'm open to having juice, um, juice de leche. I'm open to having Asian persuasion. You know what I'm saying? Because for me, color doesn't mean anything. It's about how you feel. It's about if that person makes you feel happy. So, in the end, you're being ra I feel like you're being somewhat race racist if you cut yourself off from dating other races. If you feel like you can't date another race, like you honestly can't, then aren't you being somewhat racist? Like, it's all the racial lines and all the racial situations that happened back in the past with the white supremacy. Do you know, do you know what the white supremacist's main objective was? To stop the mixing of races. To so basically with a black to stop black people and white people from having children and mixing. But I, I, I say all that to say this. I'm not saying that you're like a, a pseudo white supremacist or you're like a black white version of a white supremacist. No, I'm saying is if you have that same mentality, how does that make you any better than they are? And once again, I'm not saying that you have to date outside your race. What I'm saying is if you're if you tell me that you're totally not open, it, open to dating a white guy, you're totally not open to dating anything but black, or if you're Asian and you're totally not open to date anything but Asian, then that lets me know that you, some, somewhere inside of you, 
do have a prejudice against other races. And that's just, that's just, that's just facts. I'm sorry. You guys can disagree with me. I mean, what do you guys think? Were you offended by what John Mayer said? I'm about to say John Legend. Ooh, yes. I'm not going to talk about that queen right now. Anyway, were you offended by what John Mayer said? And if you were, and if you were, why? And do you believe that if you stick to your own race in dating, that you're, that you're being somewhat racist yourself? That's just what I had to say. That's all I had to say. It's a random thought. Anyway, this is Big Zell 20. Peace.